Hey guys, NanoCube Week 19 update. <clears throat> I had one on YouTube last night, and I think I'm going to have to take that down, because the graphics were horrible. The video quality looked like Minecraft, if you know what that is. Very boxy. Alright, well, what do we got first? See two clownfish back there? But one is now a white bullet hole. And, uh, yeah, I woke up to Finding Nemo stuck to the carpet. So it was a bad morning. Uh, coffee pot was broken on top of that, so that didn't make it any better. And this poor clownfish was just sitting here by the filter return, moping. So I went and got him a new buddy. Uh, they fought for about five minutes, and then, uh, now they know who's boss. And that was my new Ras. My new six-line Ras. He brings a lot of movement to the tank. He's always busy. Always pecking at stuff and looking for something. And he's got some cool color. Um, Zoanthids are still not doing well. I may pull them out, put them in the other tank, and leave this tank Zoanthid free and starve out whatever's pesting it. See if that helps. Um, I've got a couple that are doing all right. I've got this little batch down here on a frag plug. I've got a couple on this stick that are okay. These pallies are good. This A can just keeps growing. And here's a new frag here uh, Forest Fire Digitata. So, we like that. Yeah, these are the two that I really gave a good uh, good dip into. I was brushing them and had them in peroxide dip. And I'm not even sure if they're going to come back or not. But I took them off the rock so they're not near the other colonies. Um, let's see what I'm looking at. I got a couple open, most of them closed. The, cor the Codium macroalgae just keeps growing. It grows pretty big. Um, then a piece will break off. I've gone in there and actually trimmed it too and put some back in the macroalgae tank to grow out. So I don't know if that's why I have zero nitrates or zero phosphates rather. And pretty darn close to zero nitrates. I mean, this is all with the API test kit, but I'm not at the first color with any either one of them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going a little more SPS than uh, the soft stuff. I like the way it grows. I like my uh, LPS as well. I just seem to have better luck with the SPS, believe it or not. So, the ones I have are bulletproof, you know. I'm not, I don't have any Acropora in there or any of the hard Montes. So, I'm enjoying it. Everything's growing. And on a different note, the green star polyp has jumped onto the back of the tank now, off the frag plug. So that's starting to take off. So, some things are great, other things are iffy. Like I said, I probably got some kind of pest in the tank. Little mushrooms. This purple one's great. They're probably coming off like uh, coralline algae on the video. But it looks really good. I have this netting on top of the tank. I don't know if you can see. It's this black bird netting they call from Home Depot. And because it's a curved top or a curved front bio cube, I really can't just get a screen kit. So what I did was I have light diffuser with a crisscross pattern of the bird's nest in there. And that was on there when the clownfish jumped out, so who knows, I guess he was out of there. That's also the one that lost its tail, so he had a tough life. Let's see, let me see these guys over here. They do seem a lot more active, the clownfish. So, let's see, go over to here. This tank is a mess. 
Everybody saw the decorator crab I got a week or two ago. He has cleaned house in here. He cut up most of the macroalgae, but it grows back pretty quick. Glued it to himself, and then goes and hides under a rock all day so you can't see him. He is back there, but you probably can't tell. Yeah, it's not coming through on the video. He's back there. Uh, I had to do a major water change yesterday. It was actually green, the water. So I'm sure whatever he's wearing is dying. There's some of the codium pieces I took off of the other one. You just super glue them to a rock. It's easier than fragging coral. A couple other big pieces over here. Up there. And let's see if this new uh, damsel will come out. I picked up a damsel so he can uh, feed the plants, if you know what I mean. Normally don't like damsels, but look at the color on this guy. He's white with a black stripe and a yellow top. And I believe as he grows, he will lose all those beautiful colors like most damsels. He'll just become a an a-hole. <laughs> But he's pretty cool for now. Ah, uh, yeah. The crab took a lot of sponge off this rock, too. So, this is the a-hole tank now. Instead of macroalgae tank. Alright, guys. Well, if you have any questions about anything, leave it in the comment. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. And thanks for watching. Bye.